Welcome to Stunning Memories, where we dive into the annals of television history to rediscover the iconic faces that graced our screens and captured our hearts. In this episode, we take a nostalgic journey back to the beloved sitcom The Jeffersons, which entertained audiences from 1975 to 1985 with its humor, wit, and groundbreaking portrayal of an African-American family. Join us as we explore the cast then and now, tracing their journeys over the decades and celebrating the enduring legacy of this timeless classic. Marla Gibbs brought warmth and sass to the role of Florence Johnston, portraying the quick-witted and sharp-tongued maid with unparalleled charm. Born on June 14, 1931, in Chicago, Illinois, Marla Gibbs was already a seasoned actress by the time she joined the cast, bringing her talents honed from years of stage performances. In 1975, at the age of 44, Gibbs embodied Florence's character with impeccable comedic timing and a relatable demeanor. Outside of her role on The Jeffersons, Gibbs has made her mark in numerous films and television shows, including her Emmy-nominated performance in 227. Despite her age of 92 now, Gibbs remains a vibrant presence in the entertainment industry, showcasing her versatility and enduring talent. She is a proud mother to three children and has been married twice. Gibbs continues to inspire generations with her remarkable contributions to the world of entertainment. Isabel Sanford immortalized the role of Louise Jefferson, the dignified and sharp-witted matriarch of the Jefferson family. Born on August 29, 1917, in Harlem, New York City, Sanford's portrayal of Louise earned her widespread acclaim and made her an icon of television. At the age of 58, when the show premiered in 1975, Sanford brought depth and authenticity to her character, navigating the comedic and dramatic moments with grace and finesse. Outside of her role on The Jeffersons, Sanford appeared in various films and television shows, including her Emmy-winning performance in the series. She was a devoted mother to three children and was married once. Despite her passing in 2004 at the age of 86, Sanford's legacy continues to resonate with audiences, cementing her status as a trailblazer in the world of entertainment. Sherman Hemsley brought unparalleled charisma and wit to the iconic role of George Jefferson, the ambitious and opinionated patriarch of the Jefferson family in the timeless sitcom The Jeffersons. Born on February 1, 1938, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Hemsley's portrayal of George endeared him to audiences worldwide. At the age of 37, when the series started in 1975, Hemsley's comedic prowess and larger-than-life persona made George Jefferson an unforgettable character in television history. Beyond his role on The Jeffersons, Hemsley appeared in various films and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He remained unmarried and had no children. Despite his passing in 2012 at the age of 74, Hemsley's legacy lives on through his memorable performances and enduring contributions to the entertainment industry. Berlinda Tolbert portrayed the kind-hearted and resilient Jenny Willis Jefferson. As the daughter of Tom and Helen Willis, Jenny brought a refreshing perspective to the dynamic of the show, navigating issues of race and identity with grace and sincerity. Born on November 4, 1950, in Charlotte, North Carolina, Tolbert was 26 years old when she began her role on The Jeffersons in 1975. Outside of her acting career, Tolbert has been involved in various philanthropic endeavors, advocating for causes dear to her heart. She has been married once and has no children. Though she may be 74 years old now, Tolbert's portrayal of Jenny remains etched in the memories of fans, serving as a testament to her talent and the enduring impact of the series. Roxy Roker graced the screen as Helen Willis, a pivotal character in the groundbreaking sitcom. As the wife of Tom Willis and mother of Jenny Willis Jefferson, Helen brought sophistication and grace to the series while also challenging societal norms with her interracial marriage. 
Born on August 28, 1929, in Miami, Florida, Roker was 46 years old when she embarked on her role in The Jeffersons in 1975. Beyond her television career, Roker appeared in various films and stage productions, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. She was married once and had two children, including actor Lenny Kravitz. Despite her passing in 1995 at the age of 66, Roker's portrayal of Helen continues to resonate with audiences, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the realm of television and cultural representation. Franklin Cover portrayed Tom Willis, a key character in the groundbreaking sitcom. As the husband of Helen Willis and father of Jenny Willis Jefferson, Tom was depicted as a successful businessman who navigated the complexities of interracial relationships with wit and charm. Born on November 20th, 1928, in Cleveland, Ohio, Cover was 47 years old when he took on the role of Tom in 1975. Prior to his television career, Cover had a background in theater, honing his craft on stages across the country. He was married once and had two children. While Cover's contributions to film and television extend beyond The Jeffersons, his portrayal of Tom remains a standout performance in his illustrious career. Despite his passing in 2006 at the age of 77, Cover's legacy endures through his memorable characters and timeless contributions to the world of entertainment. Damon Evenks portrayed Lionel Jefferson, a central character in the beloved sitcom. As the son of George and Louisa Jefferson, Lionel brought a youthful energy and progressive mindset to the series, often serving as a voice of reason amidst the comedic chaos of the Jefferson household. Born on November 24, 1948, in Baltimore, Maryland, Evans was 26 years old when he first stepped into the role of Lionel in 1975. Beyond his television career, Evans has been involved in various artistic endeavors, including theater and music. He has been married once and has children. While his portrayal of Lionel remains a highlight of his career, Evans's talents extend far beyond the confines of the small screen. Now at the age of 74, he continues to leave an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, showcasing his versatility and enduring appeal. Paul Benedict portrayed Harry Bentley, the eccentric and lovable neighbor of the Jefferson family. As an Englishman living in the same apartment building, Bentley often provided comic relief with his quirky mannerisms and cultural misunderstandings. Born on September 17, 1938, in Silver City, New Mexico, Benedict was 37 years old when he assumed the role of Harry Bentley in 1975. Prior to his television career, Benedict had a successful run in theater, showcasing his talent on Broadway stages. He remained unmarried and had no children. While his portrayal of Bentley endeared him to audiences, Benedict's contributions to film and television extend beyond the Jeffersons. With appearances in various popular movies and television shows, despite his passing in 2008 at the age of 70, Benedict's legacy lives on through his memorable performances and enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Garrett Morris brought humor and charm to the character of Jimmy, a recurring character on the later seasons. As a friend of George Jefferson, Jimmy often found himself entangled in various schemes and misadventures, adding a comedic element to the series. Born on February 1, 1937, in New Orleans, Louisiana, Morris was 46 years old when he portrayed Jimmy in 1983. Prior to his role on The Jeffersons, Morris gained recognition as one of the original cast members of Saturday Night Live, where his comedic talents shone brightly. He has been married once and has children. In addition to his television work, Morris has appeared in various popular movies and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Now at the age of 87, Morris continues to captivate audiences with his wit and talent leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Zara Cully portrayed Mother Jefferson, the sharp-tongued and formidable mother of George Jefferson. 
As a matriarch with a no-nonsense attitude, Mother Jefferson added depth and humor to the dynamics of the Jefferson family. Born on January 26, 1892, in Worcester, Massachusetts, Cully was 83 years old when she brought Mother Jefferson to life on screen in 1975. Prior to her television career, Cully had a rich background in theater, showcasing her talents on stages across the country. She remained unmarried and had no children. Despite her passing in 1978 at the age of 86, Cully's portrayal of Mother Jefferson remains a memorable aspect of her legacy, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of television history. Mike Evans portrayed Lionel Jefferson, the original actor for the character before Damon Evans took over the role. As the son of George and Louise Jefferson, Lionel brought a youthful energy and progressive mindset to the series, often serving as a voice of reason amidst the comedic chaos of the Jefferson household. Born on November 3, 1949 in Salisbury, North Carolina, Evans was 26 years old when he initially portrayed Lionel in 1975. Beyond his television career, Evans had notable roles in various films and television shows, including his co-creation of the hit show Good Times. He remained unmarried and had no children. While his portrayal of Lionel was brief, Evans's contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be celebrated, despite his untimely passing in 2006 at the age of 57. Ernest Hardin Jr. portrayed Marcus Henderson, a recurring character in the later seasons. As a friend of the Jefferson family, Marcus brought a youthful energy and comedic flair to the series, often finding himself caught up in the antics of George and the gang. Born on November 25, 1952, in Detroit, Michigan, Hardin was 25 years old when he first took on the role of Marcus in 1977. Prior to his television career, Hardin had a background in theater, showcasing his talents on both stage and screen. He has been married once and has children. In addition to his role on The Jeffersons, Hardin has appeared in various popular movies and television shows, earning him recognition for his versatility as an actor. Now at the age of 71, Hardin's contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be appreciated as he leaves a lasting impact on audiences with his memorable performances. Danny Wells portrayed Charlie, a recurring character in the early seasons. As a friend and neighbor of the Jefferson family, Charlie brought humor and camaraderie to the series, often joining in on their misadventures and providing comedic relief. Born on April 7, 1941, in Montreal, Wells was 34 years old when he took on the role of Charlie in 1975. Prior to his television career, Wells had a diverse background in acting, appearing in various films and television shows. He remained unmarried and had no children. In addition to his role on The Jeffersons, Wells is best known for his portrayal of Luigi in the popular video game-inspired TV series The Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Despite his passing in 2013 at the age of 72, Wells' contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be remembered and celebrated by fans worldwide. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey through the cast of The Jeffersons, Then and Now. From the iconic characters to the talented actors who brought them to life, we've revisited a beloved sitcom that continues to hold a special place in our hearts. As we celebrate the enduring legacy of this groundbreaking show, we invite you to like, share, and subscribe to Stunning Memories for more captivating glimpses into the world of classic television. Don't miss out on future compilations and updates as we continue to explore the timeless treasures of television history. Thank you for being a part of our community, and until next time, keep the memories alive.